Hello, this is an educational segment before the video starts. This is for the people who might not be familiar with baseball terminology. If you're familiar with baseball and baseball terminology, skip to this time. If not, this is Baseball 101 with Christopher Gila. The first term is hip shoulder separation. The idea of separating your hips and shoulders is to create tension in your body, which can be released to create more force than just using muscle alone. It's kind of like pulling a rubber band or pulling a bow and arrow and then releasing it. A quick example that you could try at home is trying to put as much force as you can into the table with just the muscle versus pulling it back and releasing. As you can see, I can put more force with a quick stretch and release. The next term we're going to go over is called getting jammed. When you hit a baseball, you want to hit it right on the sweet spot. The sweet spot sounds like this. Very solid. As you go away from the sweet spot, you start to get vibrations. So from... And then also on the other side. But when you get jammed, you usually get hit out. You hit the ball off towards the tip or towards the handle. And this could cause a very unpleasant sensation in the hands. And at higher velocities, it can really sting your hands if you don't have any padding. This is a lesson I'm going to learn in the coming video. But that's what it means to get jammed. That's it for Baseball 101 with Chris. And on to this week's episode. Good morning. It's uh, Monday, start of week two. We're going... It's 7 o'clock right now. I have a 7.30 um, player meeting, so they're going to explain all those like metrics and uh, go over the biomechanics of my swing, see what I have to improve on and what to work on for this month. So, excited for that, and I'll let keep you guys updated on what, what uh, we've gone over. Alright, so I just got back from uh, the player meeting and swing design so today we worked a lot on getting that hip shoulder separation to get that you know the the torque in the swing get that more elastic energy rather than me just muscling through and i'm trying to, so today's focus what during today's hitting group will be to uh be more smooth in the swing from the load and to the foot down get that hips open but keep that tension through the core so instead of Instead of just what I used to do is this and then twist with the hip and the upper body going at the same time to get land with the hips open but keep the upper body closed and go through. It was about the same for both sides. Got to work on in that motion more smooth and controlled. I thought it was pretty helpful when I do it right. It feels effortless in the swing. When I do it wrong I feel like I'm trying to use my legs too much and I guess I'm not doing the best that I could be doing. So stuff to work on for today. Took a lot of swings during swing design, but it was pretty helpful. I was working with uh, my coach, Zach, and uh, see how it goes for today. All right, so I just got finished with the workout from Monday and batting prep, hitting group day part two for Monday. Oh man, I got blown up today. Uh, both hands are hurting me especially right here i might have to get the padding but especially the right hand but the left hand also got jammed too so i was having trouble gripping afterwards during the workout but uh overall i i was able to hit a little bit better with the weighted bats but uh during the velocity with the 80 to 85 i was just like pulling off and i was under it a lot and i was having trouble making the adjustment so something to think about still working on the mechanics of it but uh not too bad overall but my hands are killing me right now the fastballs were just blowing me up and i'm just having trouble making contact so something to work on not too discouraged like i was the first time we were going up against velo but still a weakness that i have to overcome it's only week two so still got a lot of time to improve on and get on that fastball and square them up. Keep you guys updated. My hands a little black and blue from the getting jammed pretty bad, but 
Not too bad. It's just bruised up. Still got all function, but it's just real beat up. So it's Tuesday. Jam my hand again. That velocity keeps getting me. I have yet to make the adjustment. I broke my second bat today. So uh, I might have to invest in getting a metal bat so I don't lose all my wood bats. But so far, down two bats today. Bat Broken bat count. Is that two? Um, yeah, I got jammed again. It freaking hurt my right hand again. It's not too bad, but I definitely feel weakness right here. So a lot of swelling. But I can still move it, but definitely feeling a lot weaker. And my grip is a little wonky right now but it's more of like the acute uh pain and weakness so i might have just mildly sprained it but it hurts like crap I was... uh i also gotta do a better job of getting some video of me doing the batting practice uh, i haven't had any video recently but uh i will do my best to get that done um Still pulling off, off the ball, and I'm missing a lot, so there's that. Mild discouragement, but it's like, you know, baseball is a lot of failure, so I don't know if it's discouraging, but it it just sucks when you're missing a lot, and then you're getting jammed. Got to make an adjustment. It's only week two, but it is a little discouraging. Today, I was like, with my hand hurting, felt like, I was like, crap, man, what am I going to do? I might have to take a little bit off. If they're doing more velocity stuff this week, I might have to tone it back so I don't end up hurting myself. Got to suck up the pride and, you know, I'm here for the year, so I can't be out two weeks in. So, can't do that. <laughs> and I'll keep it updated. <laughs> so, I'm up a little bit later than I usually am. I think it's more of the fact that I keep getting jammed and I'm trying to figure out you know the adjustment to not get jammed but then also at the same time like I want to face the eight the 85 plus again but I don't want to make the hand a lot worse than it already is so I think like you know just fighting that ego and just knowing that I if, if there's high velocity again tomorrow I'm probably gonna have to sit that one out I can still do drills with no pain in the hands but I think my drop in bat speed today and the the pain in the hand is just, I think, going hand in hand. And also the quality of the bats might be just a little worse just because, you know, I'm trying not to hurt myself. And in turn, it's just making it worse with my swing. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. But I was taking some dry swings, seeing what I'm doing wrong. But it's one of those other hurdles, you know. You know, you see it all the time in anime where it's like, you know, they get knocked down a few times and they get better over time it's that getting knocked down right now that you just gotta realize that's like it sucks like you know it, it hurts the ego a little bit it just stings but something i gotta get through at least i identified it and we'll just gotta get past it to be out here.
sucks. Uh, a few adjustments made. Uh, I definitely think that the pro hitter padding really helped because I was batting righty all day today against Velo. Even though I was getting jammed, it didn't hurt as much. I could feel a little in my fingers, but right in the spot that was hurting the most, it was helping out. So that's a good sign. I got a little more confidence, like, you know, going up against the Velo without fear of that much pain in the hand. And the bruising's gotten a little bit better. It's, you know, going away. I can still feel it a little bit, but it's not too bad. So that's good. The metal bat was feeling okay. Um, uh, nothing much. Might watch some Avatar today if my Netflix works. And we'll see if that's good or not. Ryan Harness, you're in the middle of this content, bro. Watch out. Oh, Ryan. Right. That's clean. Hey, Chris, last like four swings, fucking money, okay? Continue finishing out, be an athlete here. How much longer we got over there? I want you to just land and turn. Fucking Chris Piard, baby! Bring it! Let's go! Yo, I'm a fiend. I went to the field, got more KBO baseballs. I got more in my pockets. I'll show you the loot in a sec. Those are the ones from last time. But this one's got the commissioner on it. I don't know how to read that, but it looks pretty sick. These are more of uh, batting practice balls, especially these ones. They're all beat up. You can feel them off the machine, got a little scuffed up. But these are the nice ones. Looks pretty sick. Some battle damage from hitting the ground, but pretty dope. 
I'm seeing, I have to see if I can go catch some fish. Just bought some fish and deer at a Bass Pro Shop. See if I can catch some fish for dinner, for lunch or dinner. Wish me luck. Bro, I'm not gonna starve tonight. I just caught a nice channel cat. Holy crap. Sick. I caught another one. It's a little smaller, but another one. Fancy. So quick summary of week two. Uh, the beginning of the week started off a little low with all the getting jammed, my hands and thumbs hurting. Um, but then we ended off the week with a PR. So, you know, it's, there's the highs and lows of training, but uh, definitely the pro hitter definitely came in clutch. Definitely took out a lot of the stings. Even if I did get jammed, I would only feel a little bit in my fingers. So overall, it's like we, we uh, learned our lesson and we're ready to move on to week three. That's it for this week's video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next week.